What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network trailer breakdown, this time taking a look at the all-new trailer for Venom, which just hit the web after premiering at San Diego Comic-Con a few weeks back. Yes, this is the San Diego Comic-Con trailer, but it is not Red Band. It's our understanding that what was shown in Hall H was a lot more gruesome, graphic, and violent, and that is not in this trailer. And as of right now, Sony hasn't put out that Red Band trailer, so all we can do is go by the Green Band. But getting into the trailer itself, this is really more of a story trailer, but kind of like the second half of the story. I mean, I think that that last trailer was kind of a, a story trailer in a lot of ways where it kind of details how Eddie gets into this. He's researching the Life Foundation. The Life Foundation found these symbiotes. They're testing it. That's how Eddie gets into it. This one is more about Eddie and Venom with, you know, a little bit of an extra emphasis on the Life Foundation as well. Speaking of the Life Foundation, the trailer does give us a heavy dose of them. Basically, we start off this trailer while Eddie kind of explains his background as a reporter and looking into things that other people might not look into. Uh, we see basically what was hinted at last trailer, when they find that whatever crash ship or space station or whatever it is, and bring the symbiotes back to the Life Foundation. Yes, those different symbiotes in the different tubes are different colors. We specifically see one is yellow, which kind of hints that if they're following the comics at all, that is going to be Scream, the female symbiote. And it's here, too, that we get a little bit of the Life Foundation's philosophy from Carlton Drake himself. Basically, the world is teetering. It's on the brink of collapse. You know, whether it's, you know, because of wars or, or, or you know, destroying the environment or whatever. And basically, the way to solve this is with this new species. The way to bring about this new age is to merge man and symbiote into this new race of beings. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the follow-through is there. I mean, I, I get the next step in evolution thing, but I'm not sure how that's going to make us better. Somehow, some way, Eddie gets involved in this and gets symbioted himself. And we see, actually, there's this really interesting sequence that we've seen since the first trailer of Eddie freaking out in an, in, like, in an MRI tube and then freaking out more in the room where the MRI is. And what's interesting is this doesn't look like a Life Foundation room. It kind of seems to me like he's going to take himself to get an MRI to get checked and the machine is going to piss off Venom because if you've ever been in an MRI, you know that it is loud. Speaking of that, we see that the symbiote in this movie definitely has a mind of its own. And in fact, in this trailer, it kind of seems like it might just be using Eddie as a vessel for its own objectives. He kind of is very clear that he's going to do whatever he wants. Uh, Eddie is going to find out what Venom wants to do soon enough. Uh, and, and it kind of seems like it's only a little bit later that Eddie kind of gets some say. The symbiote itself also has a fucked up sense of humor. I mean, it refers to a bad guy at one point as essentially a sack full of snacks, like the eyes, lungs, and pancreas, and he later threatens to bite off a dude's legs, arms, and face, and roll him down the street like a turd. But as I said, it looks like Eddie is eventually going to get a little bit of say. Uh, he very strictly uh, puts his foot down as much as he can, and, and you know he's got this moral code. He says we can't just hurt people. Kind of going back to the last trailer, he says we're only going to hurt bad guys. And it looks like there will be this give-and-take partnership between the two. And it, it does eventually come around to Eddie thinking that, hey, you know, maybe this thing isn't all evil like some people think it is. Which, of course, you know, I think it's his ex-wife Michelle Williams is playing. She's not crazy to be hearing that. There's also a really cool sequence here where Venom emerges from his body to, to look into his eyes, to actually look into his eyes. When this was described in the footage descriptions, I didn't know what people were saying, but this actually, the way they do this is really cool, and I hope it happens more than once in the movie. In this trailer, we also see the symbiote's powers shown off and flexed a little bit more. We see first that, of course, it's got the extension of the arms and stuff, uh, which we've seen a lot. It holds off two cars, so we know it's really, really strong. Uh, and we also see that it's bulletproof here, and it kind of, can kind of be used as a shield. Eddie, at one point, puts up kind of this wall of goo to block himself and presumably others in the room from getting shot. We also see that the symbiote can heal Eddie, and it, it kind of looks like, you know, he, he's really banged up. It looks like he might have been in a car accident after that motorcycle scene, just based on what he's wearing. Uh, but somehow the symbiote completely heals him. I mean, it, it takes over his body, snaps his legs back into place, and that's where he lifts the dude up and, and, and licks his face. In this trailer, we also see the other symbiotes that we knew were going to be in the movie. Specifically, we see one woman who uh, slices somebody with a knife hand. She throws spikes out of her back. And what's really interesting here is in the comics, the female symbiote, as I mentioned, was Scream. She was the yellow symbiote. Uh, and if that's her in the, in the tank earlier, uh, it's interesting because whatever symbiote is on this woman in this scene 
It looks gray, it looks more like the normal Venom. And we see again here what looks like it might be the gray symbiote again, looking, I mean, massive, maybe bigger than Venom, and it actually turns its hands into axes and clears a room. In the comics, Riot was the gray-colored symbiote out of all of Venom's, you know, quote-unquote children, um, and this could be Riot. I mean, that's something that we heard at the SDCC panel. A lot of people left that panel thinking it was Riot. And later in the trailer, we see Riot and Venom going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and it doesn't look like it's going well for Venom because Riot is literally tearing him off Eddie. And in this next shot might be the biggest doozy of this trailer, confirming something that I think a lot of people have been thinking for a long time. If you freeze frame here, for whatever reason, the symbiotes are kind of all over the place and flailing around their human hosts. The human host for Riot is Carlton Drake, which is really interesting. So we've heard that Riot... There's a rumor that Riot is essentially going to jump from host to host, so maybe he also was not picked up by the Life Foundation and has just been going from host to host trying to get back to Venom uh, for a, you know the duration of the movie, and eventually he takes over Carlton Drake or something like that. But yes, Drake himself will get what he wants and become a symbiote host. Let us know what you thought of the trailer in the comments section down below. Specifically, I'd be really interested to see what you guys think of the other symbiotes. That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.